day. He enjoyed here a lot there and teased others a lot. And because he is the judge's good dog, nobody harms him. A man comments after seeing him that the dog is of good breed. A Canadian gold mine needs a dog like this. The judge's gardener was listening to this. It was the judge's birthday today. When Buck goes to wake up his kids, he rushes into their bed badly and starts a mess there as Buck was of giant size. The entire home trembles as Buck walks and the judge's servant was cooking delicious meals in the kitchen. But when Buck comes, she hides that so Buck couldn't see these meals. Because she knows when Buck will come and spoil this all. When Buck enters the kitchen and stands in front of her with an innocent expression, she sends him out from the kitchen and tells him to behave well with everyone, then you get the meal. He sees a rabbit outside, and while chasing him, he sticks his head in a tree. Meanwhile, he glances at a decorative table outside in the park. That was decorated with different kinds of meals because it was the birthday of the judge. His friends were about to come, and when it comes to pictures, Buck was also called. Buck's picture was captured, and later, the judge sees a piece of flesh in Buck's mouth and the table that Buck spoiled before the arrival of the guests. The judge has grown rather furious and punishes him to stay outside the house one night. The weather outside was quite hazardous, it was lightning. Buck was looking at the door again and again and he hears the sound of the gardener. He goes to him and the gardener and throws a biscuit into the carriage. Buck goes inside the carriage to take that because he was quite hungry. The gardener shuts the door, and Buck notices that the gardener was taking money from someone. He understands that he has sold him to the man who was talking about Buck after seeing him. Buck was brought there, was boarded the train after putting it into a box. When Buck wakes up, he barks and asks for a meal. Meanwhile, a man comes with a stick in his hand and opens the box. He beats him a lot and Buck was beaten for the first time. Buck still doesn't give up, he runs from there after finding a chance. When he comes out, he finds himself on a ship. That was surrounded by water from all sides. He realizes that he can't run from there. Later, when the ship reaches its destination, Buck was startlingly watching everyone. Later, it starts snow falling which Buck has seen for the first time. He was quite happy after seeing it and was playing in the snowfall. Later, he runs from there after freeing his rope. Later, we see an old man named John. He was going after leaving his house. Meanwhile, he hits Buck and they met for the first time. Now, Buck was kept with the dogs that have to be sold. He wants to befriend the dogs, but no one befriends him. Later, a man comes there who likes Buck a lot. And he takes him with him after buying, and this man was a postman. He needs a dog to drive his slit, the car on the ice. Buck is chained up with the other dogs and a collar was put around his neck. When the other dogs move further, Buck can't walk on ice. He faces great difficulty walking on ice, he was trembling and then falls down. The postman understands that Buck can't walk. At night, when the postman was sleeping with his assistant after setting up the tent, Buck makes mischief there. After sending away the assistant from there, he sleeps with the postman. Meanwhile, the assistant wakes up and she sends Buck away from the tent. Suddenly, Buck sees a black wolf outside, and he becomes afraid to see him. He was chasing him, and meanwhile, he sees a dog that was sleeping after making a ditch there. He goes from there and settles Buck in his place and makes a new ditch for him. Now Buck has learned how to sleep on ice. The next morning, they start their journey, but Buck still doesn't know how to walk on ice. They reach ahead after delivering their letters, and it turns to night again. 
For the dinner, all the dogs were provided with fish to eat. And a dog takes fish from another dog on the way. Buck gives him his meal when he sees this, and all the dogs became shocked to see it. The next morning, a dog was drinking water after staying at a place. When the other dog desires to take water, the other dog stops him and rags him. After seeing this, Buck brings out water after digging the ice from the other side, and gives water to all the dogs, and they all become happy with Buck. They begin to like him and the other dog was growing furious. Who forbids others to drink water and Buck can run well on ice now? One day, the postman's assistant falls into the water while checking the ice. When Buck notices this, he saves the assistant while putting his life at risk. She didn't notice Buck initially, but now she begins to like Buck. After calling him with her at night, she feeds him. The other dog was noticing this and was getting jealous of him. The postman and the assistant go to sleep and Buck chases a rabbit after seeing it. He begins to play with the rabbit. Meanwhile, another dog arrives and kills the rabbit. And attacks Buck as well, Buck faints as a result of that attack. Suddenly the black wolf arrives and tosses him away. The same black wolf that Buck has seen. In the morning, the postman calls Buck who attacked Buck. He was not there, he was finding him because he ties him up in front of his slit. But Buck wants him to tie him in front of the slit and he runs fast. He was quite energetic and the postman was quite happy to see this. Meanwhile, he looks at a side where ice was falling from the mountains. Buck also sees it and he asks Buck to turn another aside. On his front side, Buck sees the black wolf that he used to see often. He saves everyone from passing there to a cave from there. After seeing this, the postman understands that Buck is really a mature dog. They reach their destination because of his maturity and fast speed. They deliver letters to them and everyone was happy after reading the letters. Buck was seeing them, John was also there who initially hit John. Staying home, he was writing a letter to his wife, in which he writes. It is the birthday of their son who was no longer on this word. For this reason, he has left his house. Buck sees the black wolf again and we come to know from this. Whenever he witnesses this wolf, something good happens to him. The next morning, the postman has to take the letters from here. John's voice was heard from behind, he gets late and Buck goes to take the letter from him. Many days pass, and one day postman receives a letter from the government. To come back after selling all the dogs. He feels bad that he has to leave all the dogs. What else he can do, he goes from there, leaving all the dogs behind. A rich man there purchases all the dogs. He was in search of gold and chained up all the dogs with his slit and asked to go. But was luggage too heavy and Buck and his companions were unable to carry it. While John also ready to go there, when he see this that. He said that is not less than any threat to go there. But the rich man doesn't agree and goes after taking them. Buck's condition deteriorates on the way and he becomes faint. The rich man was about to kill him, but John comes there. John tries to make him understand not to go ahead. The rich man was quite mad at the greed for gold and doesn't listen to anyone. John frees him from his slit and takes him to his home. After two days when Buck wakes up, John tells him, All of your companions have died and now you're also free. You can go where you want to go. But where did he go, poor Buck doesn't have any house. One day, John goes to a bar to drink and Buck reaches there while chasing him. The same rich person arrives there who attacked John. Because he doesn't let Buck go with his other companions, as a result, they all have died. When Buck sees this he attacks him. He pushes back away and points his gun at John. 
the people who were present there kick the rich people away from that place. John used to drink a lot, but he is forbidden by Buck. One day he sits on his bottle while hiding it in the ice. John tries to kick him off, but he can't because of his weight. One day John shows him a map and tells him, This is the map of a place has contains a huge amount of gold there. My son had drawn a line on the map and said that everyone follows this map. We'll also follow this line, let's follow this line and go to find the gold. They start their journey by boarding the ship. The next day, the water flow was quite rapid, and the ship thus gets a hole. That's why they continue their journey on foot after leaving the ship. They find a house, and they become happy to see it. On the other hand, that rich man, who was in gold search, visits John's home to kill him. Meanwhile, he finds that map and he understands where John has gone. He finds some gold while taking a bath one day in the stream. He becomes very happy and realizes that they have reached in a right place. Buck dives into the water after seeing him. And he puts a stone in his mouth and John says no, this isn't the one. He again dives into the water and this time he finds a huge piece of gold. When he sees the small piece in his mouth he throws it and says it might not be the one and John laughs at his action. Meanwhile, a white wolf was watching them while standing there. When Buck chases her she runs away. One day this pack of wolves was hunting and suddenly one of their companions falls into the water. He was floating with the flow of water. Buck saves him after seeing them and he becomes friend of all the wolves. Now Buck used to spend most of the time with them and the poor John starts to live alone. And he used to bring hunt for John on daily basis. One day Buck comes late and John drinks a lot. Now Buck realizes and comes back home. The next morning, White Wolf calls him and he goes with her. Now John realizes that he has got his family and he was happy. John also feels alone so he decides to return home. He throws all the big pieces of gold into the water. He keeps the small gold pieces with him, saying this is enough for him. He tells Buck you've got your family and I'll also return tomorrow. Buck grows sad after hearing this and he goes to the white wolf. John senses someone's sound and when he goes out to check. There was that rich man who shoots John. The light that John has in his hands falls down and as a result the whole house catches fire. The rich man has come to take the gold from John and he gets mad to see it. Meanwhile, Buck arrives there and pushes that rich man into the fire. The rich man dies and John was quite injured because he was hit by a bullet. While dying, he informs Buck, my son, this is your house and you'll live here, and dies. The white wolf takes Buck with him. After some time, we see the white wolf and Buck were a couple. They have children as well and Buck was the leader of their pack. He often visits the place along with his pack where John has died. Buck was quite happy in this jungle and the movie ends with this. Gratitude.